Hey, you guys. Hello, hello, hello. Happy Tuesday. Good evening. Hey, Jasmine. How are you? I'm well. How are you, Shakira? I'm good. How are you, Simone? I'm good. How are you, Jasmine? Thank I you. am well. I am well. Okay, awesome. You guys were on here early. I was like, I was starting to get a little ready, get my, my little stand in place. They're like, oh, you guys are in the waiting room already. <laughs> I know. I thought I was logging on real early because I was like, okay, I'm going to run to the restroom afterwards. <laughs> and then I logged out and you were already on here too. So I'm like, uh oh. I know y'all. Yeah, it's, I I was trying to be really ready. I was like, okay, let me get my little kids ready in order. You know, got to get the the prep talk to Jay Savory. Be like, Jason, get on this call. Don't you come back in this room? So <laughs> you know, hope that he does. <laughs> but we'll probably see him before the night's out. No, it's okay. Okay. So how are things going? Oh, um, oh, oh go ahead. sorry, sorry, Simone. <laughs> No, 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 you're fine. Go ahead, please. <laughs> okay, I was just going to ask one quick question of a mistake that I made, even though I know we talked about it last week. <laughs> yes. I forgot about the holiday. And Oh, the holiday yeah. day? Uh-huh. So when I, when I ran payroll Monday, it was like they weren't going to get paid until Monday instead of this past, or instead of the second of January, yeah. paid on the fifth. So I contacted Gusto because I was like, okay, can I go ahead and upgrade to the premium package, the Premier, the Jay-Z package, whoever yeah. you got. <laughs> so I can like, you know, get their checks next day. And they were like, I can, of course they were like, yeah, you can upgrade, but it you can't would, downgrade. Right. Well, I could upgrade, but it wouldn't apply until like the next time I run payroll. Mm. So then I was like, okay. So then I'm like, okay, can I just veil them? or something like what yeah. do you think because that's what I was thinking yeah I mean you know worst case scenario I would just sell them because you don't want to make them upset right, right. um and they're my but, two best right yeah so you don't want to do that the only thing is like you'll want the only thing is because you've already been using gusto you that pay won't be included in there so you'll have to keep separate records I don't know if gusto will allow you to um, if Gusto will allow you to like make edits at the end of the year, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm almost thinking like, you know, Gusto has a way for you to send a check, but you have to send the check. So contact Gusto, right? Cause what I'm, I'm what I'm trying to think through and like definitely still contact Gusto is I think they have a way for you to send them a check right but when you when you send them a check it it they don't send the check i believe you have to manually send the check but they take into account the pay to where like they'll still add it to your total 1099 records so check that um okay. contact support and see cuz otherwise yes so to answer your question yes pay them by zell is just you just need to figure out a way that um figure out a way for you to take an account the pay that you're paying them okay yeah because gusto did say something about a check but like yeah. the person i don't know if the person i spoke to just wasn't that knowledgeable because every time i was asking her questions it's like she did wasn't sure because she was like well you can send a check from like your you know you can send it on right. your own and i was like my business bank account she's like yeah and i was like okay so then how does gusto account for that and she didn't know she was like mm -hmm. um let me look. And she kept coming back and she was like, or oh, Gusto can send a check. And I'm like, okay, so Gusto will send a check on my behalf. And she was like, yeah, Gusto has blank checks. And I'm like, I don't think that's what I need. So right. it, it was just ended up being to the point where um, I just told her, okay, I'll figure it out. I'll call back because right. I just was getting nowhere with her. And then yeah. that's when I was like, can I, maybe I can just sell it. So I reached out to the two cleaners that were going to be paid and I asked them, you know, I told them the situation. Mm -hmm. and you know if, if you needed your money on friday which i know they did yeah but if you needed your money on friday or would you be fine with monday of course they wanted friday so i was like right. okay i'm gonna figure out his bail or something and they were like that yeah so, yeah i uh, think it would be no go ahead no i'm just gonna say i do know like when you use zale because it's through the bank like i think that gives like a little bit like versus me cash app in it right True. Venmo in it. so i do know if i do it through zale um I can get a record from that 
but yeah. I don't know how like you said gusto will account for it. So right and that's the that thing like you can keep the records is like it's just you have two separate records you have right. the record and then if gusto is sending out your 1099 at the, at the end of the year then they're going to take to account everything but this one pay period and so it's kind of like you know how do you do you just count it as a loss or do you count it as a separate expense or do you send them two different 1099s at the end of the year you know what I mean so like you just have to just take to account that part okay all right well I will reach back out to them and try to figure it out with them if I can get somebody who knows or and then if not right. um, I'll just take it as a loss and just pay the taxes on it itself and just be yeah and then also you know I did post that information in there because you know you have July 4th you have a lot of holidays coming up um <laughs> now through the end of the year <laughs> So you have a lot of holidays. So then now you'll you'll make sure that you'll have that put in place for all of these other holidays coming up. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Um. Uh. Let's see. Um. Let me ask you a question. Um. I have a PO box. Can I use a PO box as a virtual address or no? No. So you okay. cannot use a so two couple different things, right? Um, one is like, you definitely can't use the PO box as a virtual address. Um, and then also that you want to make sure that when you do find your virtual address, that, um, it's a good virtual address. The best virtual address that I would recommend is if they have somebody that's like a receptionist, um, um, and it's like, it's not like a, a co-working, like an open co-working space. Try to find one that has like a receptionist to it where they can collect mail. Because a lot of these places are getting really strict with these virtual addresses because there's, it's, it's super easy to get one. Um, and they're just being really strict on these virtual addresses. So especially with Google, um, are you planning to open your cleaning company in the same area that you live? Yeah. Okay. So I already have a cleaning business, but it's residential. But okay. I, I'm um, quite honestly, I think I'm trying to move towards commercial. Commercial. Okay. Yeah. So, I think I'm, like I am. Um, I've been just doing this by myself. I haven't had any. Basically, um, I've been taking as far as payments. It's been sale. It's been cash app. It's been um check. And so now um, I know that you recommend Stripe. Um, what do you think about um, QuickBooks as far as like ACH payments and that sort of thing? So QuickBooks is not really known for their payment processing. QuickBooks is for like ACH payments and invoices, but not really like for payment processing. And, and I totally understand the struggle. I have a, a client right now, like in the mentorship group, and she's kind of very similar boat to where like she's been in business, cleaning on her own, had a cleaner and a help here and there, but right. been taking payments as, as, as whatever, cash, yeah. cash all the things. Um, and she was like, you know, some of my clients are going to be, it's going to be hard, a hard adjustment for them. So right. she may lose some and she, and she may not, um, but I all I definitely recommend like setting up a booking platform. So with the booking platform, like with, with booking Koala as an example of one, um, you can use, you can connect either Stripe, pay, uh, PayPal or Square, right? So those are like your three payment options, payment platform options that you have. The best part about that is that you're able to collect their payment information prior to the appointment. Um, you can select if you want to do a pre-authorization hold to where that way they're checking for funds at the time of cleaning. So that way, when the job is being booked, um, like you already know the funds are available, right? And then it sets to take out an automatic payment um, the day after or the day, of, like however you want to set that up. But I totally recommend having a payment platform system um, and then some, something to where like they can automatically take payments out. You recommend booking Koala? Booking Koala, out of all the ones that I've tried and tested, to me, booking Koala is offers the best features uh, for their price points. They have some hiccups. Um, they're not as user-friendly. Um, like when you, I do have quite a few videos, maybe like three videos that shows you step-by-step -step how to set it up. 
Um, now they they have made some changes, so there might be a couple of there may be a couple of steps that's now on Booking Koala that's not in the video, but it's still very much the same. Um, but they just offer really good features for their price points, um, and then basically just the whole overall of what it does. And for me, managing my appointments, managing my cleaners, um, managing my clients, I'm able to see and manage everything all in one space. Um, and then I, I have the pre-authorization holds and then the payments that's processed because I struggled a lot when I was first cleaning without that system and I was taking payments all sorts of kind of ways. I hate it, hate it trying to chase down clients for payments and be like, hey, super appreciate if you would complete your invoice. Like, <laughs> hey, right. like, you know, just want to remind you that your invoice is still unpaid. Please click the link below. Like, I hated that. So- I Okay. Okay. Thanks for that. And who, and who, I'm sorry, who did you say you recommend to get a virtual address from? So there's different ones per area that you live in. Um, but just Google virtual office and see if you can find one that has like a live receptionist. Now, the only thing is if you're going to have Google, uh, which I totally recommend everybody to have Google for Google local leads, um, they will not accept a virtual address unless you have like real signage on the building and you have a receptionist. So I would probably recommend that you use your home address. Um, you can service clients up to two hours outside of your home address in radius. Um, and then also your address will be hidden. So it won't be visible to anybody um, like whatsoever, but that's going to be, I don't want to say the only way. That's just, that's just a, a a way that you can, like li the likelihood of you getting approved for Google My Business is with using your home address. Okay. Or if you're like actually really renting out like a real for real office from a place. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. okay, okay. Huh. Yeah, because I, yeah, I, I, I kind of, I, I, I'm not sure that I wanted to use my home address only because I, I recently had a stalking situation. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 So no, I can I'll, understand that. Yeah. Yeah, it, yeah, it was crazy. It was crazy. Um, hmm. Okay, okay. But like I said, uh, one thing is it is hidden. Like when you put your information in there, it will let you know this information will not be shown to public. So it is hidden. They only really use it just for the verification because you're selecting that you're a service-based business that provides service on, on client location and not um, at your location. So they will hide it. So that's, you know, that that's one thing. Uh, but I, I can definitely understand the uh, hesitation because of that situation too, though. I wonder, I wonder because, okay, so I have, so I know that you said I can't use my PO box, but, but I have like, it's, you know, PO box, whatever, whatever. But then I also have a actual address, but it's for the post office that they say, if, if for some reason mail can come here or, or I order a package, they say use this address, like a regular, you know, 300, you know, what's the, you know, Mississippi road, yeah. you know. Da, 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 da. so you know that i only have to put okay like number you know one one seven six or whatever um so 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 I'm maybe maybe i don't know if i'm able to use that instead of like my home address like not use it wouldn't say pure box it would just act, it would actually have the um the address of um of the um of the post office yeah so yeah, unfortunately that wouldn't work. I just tagged you in a new post um, that I posted a couple of weeks ago about the Google. Um, so unfortunately that would that would not work like whatsoever. Um, yeah. Because even back in the day, a virtual office, like a real, not just a PO box and not a, a virtual, because there's a difference between a virtual address mm -hmm. and a virtual office. Um, mm -hmm. But I... Like we've been having a lot of students having troubles with not getting approved. And I'm like, I'm just so confused. And so like, I actually pretended to set up a new Google ad account or Google My Business account. Went through the whole process as if I was brand new and mm -hmm. 
I had the same hiccups and I finally emailed somebody and got a hold of somebody and was communicating with somebody. And then they gave me like these rules that they have. And which is why a lot of people were having trouble with getting their Google account approved or some was even getting their Google account suspended. So unfortunately with Google, it's a hard no, like no matter how many times, like, because like, I was trying, I was like, well, what if I was having this and I need this and duh, duh, duh. it was like, look, <laughs> you either home get your office, saying, huh? The, you're saying home address is the best when it comes to Google. Yeah. Okay. It's just, yeah, I, um, I guess because I'm not planning on staying their long term and I kind of want to get this going that's why I'm kind of hesitant mm -hmm. about having to change it again but um huh huh okay and also go. like if you set it up right and you're planning to move you can still like I was telling somebody else I was like because she's like I'm getting ready to leave in a couple of you know a couple of months like because the address is not shown I wouldn't touch it just because I I don't want to have to worry about needing to do that verification process again right mm -hmm. okay 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 yeah well thank you i think somebody You're else welcome. let's see yeah we have six people now <laughs> <laughs> hey you guys so you guys are joining in daisy anna welcome 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 stacy welcome do you guys have any questions want to let me know how things are going this week Hello. Hey, Stacy. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I am well. Ah, uh, well, I don't have any questions. Uh, <laughs> I think nobody robbed me this year. I mean, this week, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> but, that's a good thing. Uh, yeah. So so far, so good. Um, Google is doing pretty well for me. Nice. I just joined it not long ago and I heard you with the whole virtual thing and all that stuff and the home address. Remember I told you that my home address thing never worked, but then my business account thing worked for the Google local leads. So to yeah. long story short, I'm only on Google local leads. I'm not a regular Google. I give up on it. Yeah. So. It's, 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 a man, it's frustrating. It's super tough because. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Remember how long it took me? Like yes. it's been like over two months, and I'm like, you know what? I'm not even going to right mess around with it anymore. <laughs> so that's you why like, talk I about put, right, and that's why like I I wanted to like because. I never had that hard time like that. So I was like, what is going on? And I'm like, everybody can't be like having the same problems. So that's why I like pretended to set up a new one. And yeah, sure enough, I had that same situation. They wanted that doggone video verification. I'm like, what is this? I'm like, what are we doing here? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not it's not a joke. But um, as I keep saying, Google Local Leads has been really, really good to me. So I had my first bad review on there. I have a one star. Yay. <laughs> uh, my cleaner did not show up last minute. Oh, she no. She canceled and said she had to go and uh, pick up her son or something about her mom couldn't pick up her son. But basically, the person said because they were expecting guests, oh, yeah. we canceled. We literally canceled like two hours before he got mad and give me a one star so yeah. of course I had a really really bad day that day but then I got two more bookings or so like the same day or the next day or so so yeah. I was like oh right. I then I uh, had a friend that have uh like uh I forgot what business he has some car business or whatever and he's like oh they don't really look at stuff like that on google like people really are not looking at if you have five star they're actually just trying to book yeah. So um, heads up, I'm sure, I mean, you know that Jasmine, but I guess for other people, I guess one star is not so bad after all. Yeah. I'm still getting bookings on Google. I'm just not on regular Google. So when you get in, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> I will. <laughs> I will let you I know. I can't get in. Right now, I'm just going to stick to local leads. But good. yeah, but the local leads are good. Well. Local leads local leads is 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 helping a lot of different clients as uh, students right now so local leads is amazing too it's really good it's really mm -hmm. good like i mean it's a long process but i think it's worth it as i said i stopped worrying about google yeah so it's, it's doing good 
Okay. Um, I remember when I first joined, you said something about the whole 10K plan or whatever. You said at least get new clients every week. Mm-hmm. So at least I get new clients every week. So Good. I'm getting there. But that's Good. it. That's how awesome. things are going for me. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, Secure, so I see your question. So yes, so Google local leads is different than Google ads. So Google ads is like the PPC ads. Um, you know, like when you're on Google, you see on the top where it says like sponsored and then you see the like, there's like ads, right? And there's like the little map and then you go down and says like Google guarantee. So the, the top one, the sponsor one, those are the Google ads. Those are where you pay like paid per click. Um, and you don't pay a lot per click, but t- to me, I-, I compare Google ads with like window shopping, right? You ever be like, you know, when you're young, you ain't got no money and you want to go to the mall with your friends, right? And you go in one store, out the other, in one store, out the other. That's what Google ads is kind of like, because every time somebody just walks into the store or clicks on the ad, you're having to pay for it. Whether they call you, message you, you know, whatever, whatever, whether they do any of that, you're having to pay for it. So it it may be very little, but if you have 500 people that do that and don't call, then, you know, little becomes much. Um, But Google ads is still great. I just always recommend like when people start getting into the Google ads and the PPC ads, very similar to like Yelp ads, um, they work the same thing. Even with Facebook ads, right? It works the same way is that you need to have a good budget because it can add up. Um, And where Google local leads is very similar to the pricing structure of um, Thumbtack to where like they have a set flat rate fee. And it depends on your area. It can be $20, $25. And then you're just being paid for that one fee per lead. Um, You get the lead, it's your job to close it. When you do get the lead, you do get their phone number. You don't get their email address unless they provide it, but you do get their email address. I'm sorry, their phone your, their phone number. So you can call, text, and try to close that lead. So that's the difference between Google local leads or Google LSA um, versus like Google ads. Okay, because yeah, I did the Google ads. Like I'm doing that. Okay. And you're, you're absolutely right. It's window shopping. It's yeah. like a million clicks, but no one's doing anything. So I actually went in to cancel it um, okay. the other day, but then they were like, oh, but you're not even paying for it. So then I was like, oh yeah, I forgot. They gave me like some kind of free credit. Oh, your credit. <laughs> <laughs> I was so bad. I was ready to cancel it. I was like, oh, well, it's still free. Okay. Right. <laughs> as soon as it's, um, it's done, I'm going to cancel it. Cause yeah, it's like a million people clicking, but no one is doing anything. Yep. So yeah. the local leads, I guess I'll look into that now because I'm yeah. trying to figure out how to rank higher on Google now since I, cause I did get approved and I don't know if I have any information at all that will help anybody, but you, I don't know if you remember, I had a hard time getting approved. Yeah. So what I ended up doing was I went in and I deleted the whole first page, you know, the first time I did it, like I de- deleted that whole account. And I went back in and created it again as if I were new. But the second time around, I watched that video that they had. That uh-huh. Google, I sat there and I literally just watched that video and did step by step what they did. And then um, I did use my home address. So I understand where um, the mom was coming from with the address. Yeah. I think, you know, I, I think I told you, I don't do social media and all that yeah. stuff. <laughs> but I did use my address and it, it is hidden. And um, but because I used my home address and I said that I service clients at their location, I didn't have to provide another address. And okay. I, got approved. I mean, I had to okay. go through the um, phone verification, no email verification, and then they mailed me a postcard. Nice. So I don't know if that'll help anybody or not, but it took it took me almost a month too. But it, yeah, it, it, worked it, out. it takes a minute. The postcard back in the day used to be so nice and lovely. They send that postcard right away. You get it in three business days. You have five days to connect it, and it was just so simple. Now with the Google LSA, you you find those leads set up in your um in your Google Business Management. Like you go to the your Google. There's a little three dots on the side, and mm-hmm. then it's like a little blue built building, mm-hmm. and then in your Google My Business areas where you'll set up your Google leads, your Google oh. LFA. 
yeah the local the local yeah. thing okay okay yeah I'm gonna look into that now then because I'm trying to get some of this um Google business since it's supposed to be so good in my area yes <laughs> so I'm hoping that this helps out I've even been looking at some other people who are ranking high to figure out like why there are people that are ranking high that don't even have websites and they're coming up number one on, on there so I can't figure okay. that out old school they just been in, are well are they old school have they been around for a long time or no one girl said she's been in business since 2015, but other people have been like 20 some years. But yeah, the one 2015 girl, is but, still a pretty long time. That's, though. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So maybe that's why. I don't know, but I'm copying everything they have. Girl, look, don't, <laughs> don't, don't recreate the wheel, they say. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, uh, Andy. Oh, who's that? I'm so sorry. Simone? No, 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 go ahead. Go ahead. No, go, go, go. Actually, quick question. Is everyone paying for SEOs? I just realized how expensive that is. Is anybody else currently using S have a SEO, paying somebody to do SEO on their website or on their platforms? Anybody? I'm not gonna lie. I looked at it last night. I was about to pay somebody. And then I said, hold on, let me go to let me go to YouTube first. So <laughs> I've been on YouTube and all day today I've been looking at YouTube, which is where I got the idea to copy what other people are doing who are ranking high on the Google page. Yeah. Um, so that's I said I was gonna try that first because it's not cheap. So, yeah, it's not. No, no, it's yeah, not. So I'm I, trying I think, that first. <laughs> right. I I was talking to somebody today and they're like it's up it's like seven thousand a year or more, and Ooh. I'm like oh my god and it's not even guaranteed. I'm like yeah. Nope. <laughs> there is some SEO training on in the academy as well. Of course, it's not. I'm not an SEO expert by any means, um, but. This was, it was like what I use for mine and just doing some additional research on SEO. Um, I'm going to tag you in it. Okay. Um, but I, I, I feel like it's sufficient. Also, like, you know, with the, with the website, there's a lot of SEO on there as well. Cause I had SEO. I remember when I first signed up for SEO, I think I was paying um, 2,500 a month. For SEO. Oh my God. Yeah. And the thing about SEO is that it's the yeah. long game. It's right. not um it's not something that you're gonna get an immediate response from whatsoever. It's it's totally the long game that you'll see in a in a cup, not even a couple of months, six to seven, eight months to a year, you'll start seeing. Um cleaning, you know, clients coming in without them coming in through a lead generation source. Like they've actually Googled you, you're on a top page of Google. Um, yes, but SEO, it's, 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 I was even reading something that where they said that in a couple of years, SEO will not be as relevant as it is now. But I mean, of course, as of right now, it is. Um, the thing is just about using keywords. One of our students, she's in Oakland, California, and her website right now is ranking on first page of Google from using the template. Um, because normally I don't like a lot of big websites and all these pages, but all the pages, what they really do is um, it allows you to put more keywords and hidden words and like meta text and backlinks and all of that stuff on the page, you to insert, you know, the areas that you offer service in, tag it in with the keyword. So best cleaning and like being Pacific as in like what suburban areas or like uh like subdivisions, not just a city, right? Because you can say Dallas or Plano, but you know, it's Monte Carlo or Green Hidden Valley, like, you know, really being Pacific. So when People are searching for your cleaning company and they're like cleaning company near, you know, Monte Carlo or cleaning company in this area. It pops up. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Thank you. You're welcome.